Hi, I'm Eric Ross with Eric Ross Interiors, and I'm so excited today to take you through the traditional home Omar Alumni Show House. I'm so honored that I get to participate this year, and the room that I've been given is the stairwell, which is a great space because everybody has to go through it. It's still a few days before it opens to the public, but I'm really hoping that what you see today in my room will inspire you. Welcome to the coat room, which is part of the stairwell. It's the first room you come to, but when you get to my space. And so the real challenge was how to unify the entire stairwell. You actually have three zones. You have the coat room that you enter, then you have the main stairwell with a little reading nook, and then as you go upstairs, there's a small mezzanine. So you really have several areas to unify into one cohesive design. When you have a small space like this, the challenge is how to create a focal point. And so what me and my associate, Chris Barker, decided to do was to create a focal point with these upholstered doors. I thought it was a stroke of genius to have the fabric as a focal point with the nail head trim. But then it was like we needed something to even make it pop more. So we t picked the peacock blue, a huge color trend, out of the fabric to make the fabric pop off of the doors. As you come out of the coat room, you enter the main stairwell, and you have this opportunity as a designer to create something in this corner. I thought it would be a great opportunity to do a bar cart here. Something I like to do when I'm decorating a room is figure out how can we repurpose this space for something usable. We're at the mezzanine level of the main staircase now, and what was important for me in this space was to create another little moment that you wouldn't have otherwise if it were just a hallway. So I brought in this nice long console table and brought the bright yellow orchid to really create against that sense of contrast and brightness and a bit of cheer against the dark backdrop of the wall covering. Another element to this mezzanine space that repeats from the coat room is the drapery fabric. And then it ends on this bright yellow and white botanical. This is actually a remnant of the pillow fabric I have downstairs in the sitting room. It's important when you're working with dark colors to create contrast. That way it doesn't look too ominous and oppressive. With this, I use bright gold koi fish. One of my favorite motifs is Chinese decor. And so the koi, of course, is very Asian but it also in this bright color provides a bit of whimsy and brightness and contrast against the dark background. This is the main stairwell, and this is really the trophy spot of the room. What I wanted to do was really do a wow with a huge impact. And so again, through repetition, I found this gorgeous koi blue and white vase that uses an urn and I knew instantly once I had my fabric with that bit of yellow I was going to pull out the forsythia. This is the perfect time of year to bring the outside in because you've got the spring flowers blooming. This room really has a hidden treasure that's behind the large flower arrangement and it's a reading nook. We had the opportunity with the void underneath the staircase to really create a cozy intimate spot. Another big focal point of this area was to bring in a floor length mirror and hang on the wall, but I really wanted to reflect light and that's a huge trick with mirrors. I did pick a full length sofa so anyone could easily lay out, read a book, have access and sight lines to the kitchen for the person cooking. And this is one of my favorite spots of the stairwell. Thanks so much for letting me take you on this tour and the sneak peek for the traditional home or more alumni show house. And be sure and check out more of my designs at ericrossinteriors.com.